Hello everyone, it's Alan again with another unboxing video, unboxing quote unquote in this case, because I am going to be unboxing and reviewing the Fighting First set from Flames of War. I did get this for free as I was the winner of their Facebook contest. Go ahead and check out their Facebook page, hashtag not sponsored, but they do have cool giveaways and as I said I won this free. So here we have the book first, we got beautiful cover art on it, showing off a Sherman, with a couple of half tracks in the background and some overflying planes, as I'm sure anybody knows who knows anything about World War II, the Allied air superiority was definitely a major contribution in winning the war. So on the inside, you have kind of a Europe in 1942, where it shows just the sheer reach of Germany. And I really like this, because not a lot of books do this, but this shows that these are other Axis countries, rather than just part of Germany. Which I really appreciate. I don't know why, but it's just something that grinds my gears, so to speak. <laughs> that other Axis countries are portrayed as part of Germany in film and book so often. Anyway, we got little details on the Tunisian campaign. And then we get right into the stats. We got M3 Lees, we got an M... Uh, M... Sorry. M3 Stewart Company, right there, and we got an M10 Tank Destroyer, that would be an expensive platoon. We got a little bit of history of the real guys as well, and so that's going to be about it for the book. As I said, it's really good, good high quality, nothing compared to the old books, but I mean, it works, it's got the lists in it. I really prefer it if they had the big old books, like, if, in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Here's one of the older books, Grey Wolf, which is far, far more, just thicker and more detailed. But at the same time, it also came at a much higher price point. So I do understand that if this is for the newer players, I get that, and I totally agree with them. Because every hobby needs more people, and that's definitely something that Flames of War is doing really well with this new generation of miniatures. So we're gonna get into the Fighting First box set. Again, I got this for free. I believe it retails for $80. So let's see what we get inside. Obviously it tells us what we're gonna get inside, but I imagine if you clicked on this video, you're probably here for having me look at what's inside instead of just looking at the back of the box. So, inside, First view, you have the baggie with the little rule book inside. I really appreciate this, because apparently a lot of the first generation ones were damaged because of the lack of a baggie. I already have a mini rule book, but I really appreciate this touch. Probably gonna send this to my friend, try and get him into the Flames of War. And inside the rule book, we have the Fighting First Assembly Guide. Which is really simple. I would probably just go to their website. They've got really good instructions there. And they've got YouTube videos for all this, so it it works a lot better, trust me. So, got the little baggie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reuse that. And over here, this looks like the two M10 tank destroyers. Nice full sprues, but not too full. Looks like we got plenty of different options for how to customize them. Two identical sprues there. Then we have, here's the Stuart. So I really like the Stuart sprue. And you guys are probably gonna laugh when you hear this because of this little guy. This is a flamethrower. It was for a type of Sherman that often served in the Pacific. And the fact that they don't have rules for it makes me really smile because it shows they care about the fans and they care about producing good models more than they care about actually selling products when it comes to that. I gotta say as well, all of these are in this really nice plastic. Classic, same as the uh, the late war stuff, there's more Sherm, or uh, Stuarts. And they're all in proper, just, what's it, olive I guess. And the fact that they've done this means that you can just glue it together and get it right on the table. Now, I know a lot of you are probably calling me a heretic right now, but, I get it because new people really need a way to get into the hobby easily. And if you are telling somebody that you have to paint 
50 tanks. I mean, I guess you'd be playing the Soviets then, but you know. But if you tell them they have to paint a ton of tanks before you can even play a game, it's going to be a bad time. Okay, so here we have the Sherman. Sorry, I got a little bit sidetracked there. And you can see that it's got the machine gun just built onto it, and I appreciate that so much. My little machine guns on my existing Shermans from the Open War or Open Fire starter set, they're so finicky, and I would not wish that on anybody. You also got a little log. People like logs. I don't get it. If you like the log, it's here for you. You got five of the identical screws for that guy. And then you have the final little baggie. You got the Fighting First itself, which is the Formation Guard. And you probably can't see that too well. There we go. And then you have the beautiful Movement Order card. I really like these. I just I like the fact that it helps you personify your nation a little bit by having the one that matches it. It's, a, it's the little things that get me. So here you have the actual stack cards, the Stuart, the Sherman, the other Sherman, and the M10. And this provides a really good starting point for any new player. It just, it lets you get into the Americans right away, and it lets you just... It gets you a 60-point army on the table with almost no work. And we got little decals. I know some people really like these decals. I'm probably going to go with just the white ones. But if you like yellow decals, they are in here. I know there was a little bit of talk on the forums about whether they would or would not be. So, finally, you have the little crewman sprues. These are for the M10, and they are also for the tank commanders. They're, they're decently detailed. They're just like the late war guys. I mean, nothing really changed in that department, so... I like them. They're good. They do their job. Probably won't build them with these, because I really don't like painting people at that scale. Uh, that's going to be it. I mean, if you like this unboxing, give me a like. Give me a dislike if you disliked it. Um, if you disliked it, just uh, drop me a comment. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what I did right. I really want to make this more of a thing. So if you can give me some tips, some tricks, what you'd like to see next, let me know. This has been Alan. Talk to you guys later.